Hey 40 plusers, YouTubers, subscribers, greetings, salutations. If you're lost on the interwebs, hi, welcome. Tell me in the comments down below how you stumbled across the video. I always find that interesting. Of course, you know, comments are slim, but that's okay, because I'm not... Anyway, I am just going to jump right into the topic today. Um, this is an Ulta haul, and it was kind of a splurge celebration kind of purchase day. Um, and these are not low-end items or drugstore items or on sale items. These are all in. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of roll through these um, and try to top each reveal. So, uh, Viva La Juicy Rollerball. Um, I prefer rollerball sizes. That way they're more portable and I'm also not committing to four ounces of uh, a fragrance that I may get really sick of. So this is Viva La Juicy. And I like it very much. Very, very much. Box. Okay. Now, the next thing is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes um, Waterproof Mascara. And I was using, what was I using? Uh, there it is. I was using the not waterproof one, Lights Camera Lashes. This is the end of like the third sample of this I've had. And it's basically dried out beyond belief. I tried to use it today. It was hard to use. It kept flaking off. So I went with the waterproof version and I went full size. So after I realized I kept reaching for it and using the samples over other mascaras that I have on the daily. So I decided that it was time for me to commit my love. So Tarte. This is a daily mascara. It is not glammy. It does a little thickening, a little volumizing, but I use it mostly for length and separation. And it's on behind my glasses, so that there is that. Uh, so it's, I don't want it super long either because then it makes uh, flutter marks on my glasses because the way my head is shaped, my glasses sit very close to my eyeballs. There, now I'm oversharing. Um, let's see. Mm, meanie. Um, a product line that I've tried a few different products um, is the Wish uh, Bath and Body Products. I have tried the Body Butter. I have tried the shaving gel lotion-y thing. And... I decided that I was going to try this aftershave gel. Can you read that? It's a hair inhibiting inhibitor. Um, it's not foolproof. It doesn't work a hundred percent. I don't think anything works a hundred percent except laser. Um, but it's a nice extra to have and put into your routine. And I went with, they have coconut and almond and lavender and a couple other scents. I think there's five or six. And I went with the pomegranate. This is what the bottle looks like. And it is aloe, shea butter, pathanol, hyaluronic acid, and uh, retinol palmitate plus it has 
extract or chaparral extract. Now, in I think it's earth sciences, chaparral is a type of environmental system, right? It's like the low scrubby brushes and hills and stuff like that, which is just like uh, the Mediterranean coast coastlines, not the cro craggy rocky ones, but the rolling hills. So yeah, chaparral extract. So it must be some scraggly bush. <laughs> But it has chaparral extract there. Now I've uh, geeked out a little on you. Um, okay, the next thing are two eyeshadow palettes that I have restrained myself from buying two times. And I decided to just go for it. And my biggest... Re the biggest reason why I hadn't purchased them <clears throat> already is the packaging um, because they are fuzzy. These are the It Naturally Pretty and the Rom Naturally Pretty Romantics palettes. Do I have them both upside down? I have one down, upside down. So this is the Naturally Pretty Volume 1. This is the Naturally Pretty Volume 2, basically. They are both 100% matte. You've seen these before. So, the Naturally Pretty 1. This is going to be reflective. I'm oh, sorry. Looks like that. It's got the shadow names down below. And this has this transforming pro pearl shade. So everything is matte and then there's a pearl finish in this uh, kind of shell base. And it's a little bit more glittery than I'm digging. I don't know if you can see the glitter. Uh, pearl finish I'd be okay with, but this has got some small glitters in it and I'm not so into that. And this is also a fairly warm palette. At least, except for the Midnight Noir, Violet, and Iconic, all the way to Java and Mocha, this side is all warms. These are even warm-ish, though not truly warm. And so that is the Naturally Pretty one. And... These are like everyday shadows that I can wear all the time, every day. Never have to worry about it. So I'm looking forward to using it. I just hope that the packaging doesn't suck. If it gets dusty, you know? And the Romantics. Also 100% matte. And this is... A... It's a more balanced palette, I guess is what I would call it, because it's about 50-50, and it has a transforming pearl in it. Uh, is it the same shade? The transforming pearl shade is not the same shade, as far as I can tell. I'll have to actually look at it in daylight. So here is the volume two. On my eyes today, I have this shade on, uh, Tranquility, over a gunmetal shadow base. So I'm digging that. Very pretty stuff. And I believe, so one is on the bottom, two is on the top. I believe, that's hard to tell. I believe the transforming shades are slightly different. We'll have to see. Or have you already checked it out and know? So pretty, these shades. So volume one has a shade called Sunset. They're very velvety. 
and it's kind of a rustish brown. And volume two has a shade called Desire. So there they are. Okay, so this one is Desire from volume two. And this one is Sunset from Volume 1. Look how pretty those are. I mean, come on! So pretty! Pretty! Naturally pretty! So, to It Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, all mattes. I'm digging them. I'm glad I pulled the trigger. It's really hot in here. Whew. Okay, now Let's see, can we top that? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I did it. I pulled the trigger. Why? Because it was a total splurge day. And I'm a sucker for... This is kind of rubberized. And I'm a sucker for that texture. Isn't that sad? That's, that was the first thing that made me decide that maybe I was going to buy it. But then, look at these. There's a lot of light shades in here. A lot, a lot, a lot of lightness over here. But then you've got these beautiful tones in here that I think make up for it. Um... So yeah, and the names are on the palette. That's awesome. You have 16 mattes, 16 shimmers, and they are just beautiful. Beautiful. They are very soft. There's gold leaf on my finger. What else do we want to look at? Forest, which is a matte. Look how concentrated that is. Um, hmm. Let's look at... I can't pick. Cinnamon. That feels really... S silky, soft, not as powdery as the uh, gold leaf by any stretch of the imagination. What are we going to put on the pinky? Mm -hmm. um, I can't pick what to put on my pinky. Let's put... Let's put the black on the pinky. See how the black comes out. That's very soft. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go right here. Okay, so we have gold leaf, forest, cinnamon, and the black. That's a good black. <laughs> it's, a, it's gone everywhere. So, from Naturally Pretty 1, we have Sunset. Naturally Pretty 2, we have... What is it called? Hmm, Desire. And we have gold leaf from... Mega Palette Pro 2, uh, Forest from the matte side, Black from the matte side, and Cinnamon from the, like, I mean, isn't that stunning? And the Gold Leaf is really pretty. I can imagine using that as a nice pop color. It's peachier than I thought it would be, but maybe it's because of what it's next to. So pretty. So pretty! Okay. 
So, two naturally pretty palettes, and then the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. But wait. But wait. Are you taking bets? Are you guessing what the last thing is? Because I have black shadow all over my keyboard. <laughs> they said it was really soft. Okay. The uber splurge item is the Peter Thomas Roth uh, 24K Gold Lift and Firm Mask. This is not cheap. This is like a month worth of BLTs. That's what I sacrificed to pick this puppy up, basically. Um, so I'll be like eating side salads at work for lunch. <laughs> or taking my lunch. But this has intrigued me for at least six months. And it's got caffeine in it. I'm digging that. Oof. So excited to try this. Look at it. Look at it. So it's going to firm, energize, increase glow, and lift, brighten, smooth, refreshes. For this price, it should be... There, you can just see the consistency. Okay, do I have a clean finger? I have a clean thumb. So I'm going to take some of this on my thumb and put it on the back of my hand. Now you can see it. Now we're going to rub it on. No fragrancy smell, which is nice. It shouldn't be trying to sell itself with smell goodness. It should be selling itself with its benefits. And I think that's what it does. Okay, so basically, there it is applied. And it's just going to sit there until I wash my hands in about 10 minutes. Use up to two or three times a week. I am so excited about this. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. And it was the last one on the shelf. So, there is my Ulta Splurge Treat Myself Hall Hallalicious. Um, and as always, there's the samples and free gifts and things like that. So I got two samples of Peter Thomas Roth masks. One is the Rose Stem Cell. And the other is Irish Moor Mud Mask. It's purifying. It's a, one of those black masks. So these are a really good size. And I'm going to be digging those as well. Um, let's see. I got a sample of Modern Muse by Estee Lauder Companies. Uh, Life is Beautiful from Lancome. And a Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gioa. I don't know anything about this one. Uh, then some Dr. Brandt samples. Always good to have those um, for emergency travel kits. 
Okay, so the Peter Thomas Roth mask is not reacting with my skin or anything. It's not like it all of a sudden turns pink and glows or anything like that, but it's still just sitting there. So, any questions, comments, uh, thoughts, cautionary tales? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're going to yell at me about uh, spending uh, excess funds, you know, don't. So, much love and respect. This is Deborah and Summer. I'm signing out. Check me out on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and the Twitter. Ciao for now.